Hello everybody and welcome to this video of me playing Let's Build a Zoo. This game has been released today on the 5th of November and I can't wait to play it and show you the game because I loved Zoo Tycoon as a kid. I mean, I still do love it, but I also do love pixel art games. So this is perfect. So here's what it says on Steam. It's time to build a zoo, construct and decorate enclosures, buy and breed animals, hire zookeepers and vets, then try your hand at DNA splicing and stitch together over 300,000 different types of animals. This can only go smoothly. Oh yes, I'm sure it will. And in the features section it says build your own zoo with over 500 different animals at your disposal then splice together over 300,000 different animal combinations. Keep your animals and your visitors happy with hundreds of buildings foil foliage, path and enclosure decorations. Hire the perfect employees to deal with a variety of life events. Control everything that happens in your park from what your animals eat to what eats your animal. Decide whether you want to run your zoo above board or break the law and pocket the extra cash. <laughs> because bad morality zoos are a thing in this game, which is exciting. Animals. Let's Build a Zoo lets you import a variety of animals from other zoos around the world. Breed your animals and start families to expand your wildlife and fill your enclosures. But if that doesn't suit you, you could just create animals instead. With DNA splicing at your fingertips, you have the power to bind together over 300,000 different types of animal, creating monstrosities and oddities as you go. Ever wondered what a chikaka would look like? Now you can find out. And what's also cool about the game is that you can, as I just mentioned, create a bad morality zoo <laughs> if that's your wish. And then you can just, well, you can build some factories and use your animals, let's say. So maybe I should go with that. Uh, it might be interesting. We'll see what happens. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the first few minutes of the game. Let's go. Okay, so let's check this out. New game. Who shall I employ to run and manage my new zoo? Pick your appearance. You can change this later. Avatar select. Um, um, okay, I'll choose that. And I shall enter my name. Very good. Aww. Look at it. Kathleen the investor. New task, visit the management office. Hey there, my name is Kathleen and I'm currently your zoo sale investor. Could you come down to the management office for a quick chat, please? Select the management office. Guess that's that. Scroll to zoom. Ah, yes. And I can also do that with the keys. I'm currently using the keyboard. Let's see, can I choose? Okay, you can choose the controller like that. Um, I think for simplicity's sake, I'm going to stick with the good old mouse and keyboard. So let's select this management office task. Task complete. Okay, all kinds of requests end up here and I know you will want to keep on top of them. Try viewing a new task now. New task. Okay, build at least one animal enclosure. Current task, build an enclosure. Every zoo needs animals, but before you can take a delivery of any animal, you need to build an enclosure. Makes sense. So we have the build menu here. Concrete. <laughs> I think I'm going to be nice for now. Uh, we'll see how long that will last. Maybe just like, how do I do this? I love how this is the simplest thing I could do and I'm failing. Ah, I get it now. Right, I'll just redo it in hopes that I did get it. So I don't fill it out like that. I really just draw the, the fenced area and then I lock it like that. Ah, it doesn't seem... Ah, okay, I can put the entrance there. <laughs> Uh, uh, great, now that we have an enclosure, we can start the real business of finding animals to make our zoo one step closer to becoming the best zoo on planet Earth. Very humble of you. Okay, and now we have Timbo, the Australian zookeeper, and the overpopulation is our new task. I have a gift for you. Visit me in my zoo and I can tell you all about it. Just find the Australian zoo on the world map. Visit Australia? Australia! How do I do this? 
World map. There it is. Ooh, let's go to Australia. It's truth, we had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month, and we just don't know what to do with them. I heard you were starting a new zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy-eared furballs. What you say? Yes, I have received two rabbits. You will be so happy. <laughs> be my friends. <laughs> Very cool. I'm sure you'll love them and your visit visitors will too. Return to zoo. Select an enclosure to deliver your new animals to this one. Yes. This person will have a new task after this. Complete four trades with Cuba Zoo. Um, okay. Open for business. It's probably time to start trying to earn a li- Excuse me! Let's open the zoo to- to- to paying- what? Let's open- it's so distracting <laughs> and it's so loud, I'm sorry. Let's open the zoo so paying customers can start turning up. Open the zoo. Look at them. <laughs> okay, they're not- I mean, it's rabbits. I shouldn't be so overexcited. Okay, open zoo. Task complete. This person will have a new task in one day after in being in business. Okay, news report. Oh, will there be news about my zoo? Regardy? <laughs> Horizon Herald. Grand opening. Jennifer Dutna is the editor. Okay, hello. The mayor officially opened our new zoo today. The zoo that has been named Shukopi was made... <laughs> I'm so humble. <laughs> was made possible through an investment from Kathleen Kay, a renowned international business mogul. The management of the zoo said, We hope to become a huge success, bringing joy to animal lovers everywhere, while also being financially responsible. <laughs> to our investors and um, maybe even buying them out and gaining our own independence one day. An exciting time for everyone who witnessed the grand opening of the local zoo. Coolio. So I would like to build like a path. Um, I think I'll pause the time real quick. Floor tiles. Gray bricks. How about that? It seems fitting. Let's do this. Um... Ah, it's just like painting. No, 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 no. How do I get rid of them? Ah, okay, I just click them again. Why is it just half ones? I changed something. How did I change it? Hold on. Ah, okay. I don't know how I did it. But, uh, here <laughs> we go. Now I kind of want them back because then I could have an angle here. But I guess we'll go with that until I figure out it out again. Yes! Very cool. Enjoy your zoo stay here. How about... Can I rotate this? Um, if so, how? There we go. I have a Coke. I have a snack. There we go. Hey, you, you, you're just walking wherever you want. Excuse me? I guess that's... What? I guess that there is nothing left to see. That is true. Morality bonuses, business people, animals, no points. Well, this is maybe not turning out to be a good morality zoo, so see what happens. What can I do with this? Get animals, edit enclosure, add objects. Maybe I should do that. Shelter sounds good. I have no shelter for you. I'm sorry. How about some water, maybe? Oh, there you go. Enrichment? A small ball. Uh, do I have staff? How do I get staff? Park staff. I found it. I should look for a janitor. Uh, recruit. Okay. Open job positions. Opens this position for applic for applicants to apply. Opening a job position will require a basic admin cost. Post your job openings on social media to spread the world. World <laughs> word. Advertise your job openings on job portals and trade magazines to gain an even wider reach. Well, I'm just gonna to stick with uh, that, the five dollar one. I think it's gonna take twelve hours. Okay, apply changes. So I guess janitor is the only employee type that I can 
higher at the moment. Okay, let's keep it going so I have some more income here. Research grant. Build a research building. Hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research and I'm here to offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. I will accept Plans for research hub and local zoo. The zoo recently announced that they plan to construct a research hub. And once built, visitors can expect to see a constant flow of new and exciting attractions appearing in the zoo. Zoo management says that there are currently no estimates on when it will be completed. However, they reassure us that after construction, the researchers and researchers and designers will be working hard to constantly refresh the look and technology of the zoo. We spoke to the locals and the reactions are mostly positive. New stuff is always exciting, says Jane, a housewife with kids and Franny, an infamous commentator on all things negative in our community, said, why bother making new things? We have enough things in the world already. Well, thank you, Franny. And uh, let's build that research hub here, here, here. See, I don't know. I don't really want it in the back there. I think I will put it here. Why not? 250 per day for 14 days. That sounds good. And I can hire a Vernus. So that person isn't really polite. That's bad. It will upset customers. I don't want that. Uh, it can be a good thing in some jobs. However, work ethic is okay. Oof. I, I, I excuse me. I was busy. Water coverage. Make sure you have enough water pumps to cover your water ba- Ah, okay. Your water basins. Basins? Move the ones you own or build more on uh, to stop animals going without water. Thirst is the quickest way for an animal to not make it. So it's important that you keep this under control. I will do that in a second. I shall pause. Ah. Ah. I will pause the game is what I was going to say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'm just gonna go for just above standard. There you go. Okay, so water, amenities, water pump. Ah, I mean, there's one there already. I can like cross it here. Okay, I'll do that. And then a giraffe bin. Um, there we go. Ah, it shows you the area covered by that. The shelter for people? Place some shelters, stay in the shade, increases decoration points. It is for people. I mean, obviously the zoo will expand as well, and I'm going to have like a big central like area where people can rest, I think. The restroom, though, is a good idea here. Not too close to the research center. And then let's start the time again. Gray bricks, there we go. I'll, I'll try to make it look nice. It's, it should be deceptive. <laughs> so by right-clicking, we can do that. We can change the, the angle. Now I figured that out. That's good. And start anew. A bench might be nice. Let's go for fancy white. Let's invest, okay? A planter here. Why not? That looks fine, doesn't it? So I shall research an item in the research hub. Let's do this. Uh, research. What do I have? This is the research screen. The employees of your research hub work tirelessly to earn points that you can use to unlock new buildings and bonuses. Try unlocking some research now. Tree pack, all pine trees, animal enrichment pack, small ball, garden benches, desert and closure. I want benches. Ah, okay, I have to <laughs> All right. I have to keep it pressed. Research grid previews for, por for important buildings and bonuses allow you to work towards unlocking the items you want. Selecting the research sets on the left gives you a hint about the locations of different things. Remember to come back regularly to spend your research points. So I guess there's a lot of categories. Wow. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. So the uh, research is up and running. Uh, finished task. Yes. This person will have a new task after this. Unlock researcher, uh, research pack researcher. Ooh, processor. Unlock something next to this to learn more. 
I'm not currently researching, am I? Because why can I not unlock more? I, I suppose I am still researching, or my employee is. Why is there nobody here? Excuse me. Thump thump. Aw. Oh, um, it's 4 p.m. Ah, it closes at 5. Your zoo currently opens 8 hours per day. Can I change that? Ooh, fancy. Ticket price. Okay. Saving game. The game saves at the end of every calendar day. Total days in business, one. Profit today, minus 746. <laughs> Current cash, 754. And it attracted 24 people. Five people could not fit on your bosses. One felt the ticket price was too expensive. 18 people entered the zoo. Too expensive, you say? Five dollars for rabbits? What do you mean? Okay. And we have a new task, Proving Grounds. Now we are finally up and running. I would love to start tracking your progress. If you reach 25 total customers, I will be able to give you a small performance bonus. Ooh. Yes, please. And Franny, the complainer, there she is. Hi there. I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. I have a small observation though. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals. Hunger leads to starvation and starvation leads to not making it. And I don't want not having made animals stinking up the neighborhood. Build a storeroom for food. For, for God's sake. <laughs> okay. Let's build that for Franny. Um, storeroom. Let's rotate you. Put you there. Yes, we will hire Elvera. There we go. Are you happy, Franny? Yes, you are. Finished task. This person has a new task for you. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Hire a janitor. Your zoo is going to become a rat infested den of disgust unless you hire someone to tidy up. Why do you care so much? <laughs> If you hate it so much. Uh, but thank you, Franny. Hire janitor. There are new, two applicants. Well, let's hire Stasia. I mean, better than nothing. Hire. Would you like to close this position? Applicants will no longer be available. You can manually choose uh, close the position anytime later. Yes, I want to close it. Thank you very much. Task complete. Franny, here we go. This person will have a new task. After this, complete at least eight tasks from the management office. Manage shop. Hold on, what? You can maximize profits by farming your own ingredients for this product. Use the farm processor to produce fructose. So this is adjust the caffeine. While this helps maximize, maximize profits by getting your visitors to move around the zoo at faster speeds, in some cases it may also lead to heart attacks and other side effects. <laughs> I just love that that's an option. And we can adjust the chemicals. I can probably do the same for, for the snack vendor. I can adjust seasoning. What's that do? Adding extra salt can make a dish taste better. Adding more salt makes people thirsty. Eating too much salt without having anything to drink will lead to nausea. You can maximize profits by farming your own ingredients for this product. Use the farm processor to brew starch. Seems like I will need a, a farm processor. Because I want that profit. I don't care about the animals. <laughs> okay. Thump thump. Hey, people, what is on your mind? A government employee who evaluates the... Vi what, 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 what? No! What are you doing? Don't! I can't feed them. I have no one to feed them. How do I do feed them? Critical food item, straw. Oh, oh, oh. Great to see a new zoo. Seems like you have a few things to solve. I will just give you some advice for now. But next time, I won't be so generous. Your animals need more time to be fed and raised lovingly. Your animals are not being treated very well. Please try and do better. Next time, I won't be so lenient. No bonus awarded. Okay. But how... Right, let's pause this. It says supplies are remaining for 125 days. How do I feed you? No, I don't want you to not make it. Hey, think. Think! Can I drag and drop something? Change an animal's diet. They're showing me that they're... Ah! Okay, well, they got 
They just got food. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess it's time for more animals since we don't have more tasks. Create a little concrete something something here. Why not? <laughs> oh, this is flashing. Animal shelter. Hold on, are we here? London Zoo. So you may have heard that a goose can be quite... Uh, difficult. Well, let me tell you that most certainly is not the case. And is in no way the reason we're trying to trade a pair of them for just one rabbit. No, not at all. For run one rabbit? I need more rabbits then. We can have pigs and other rabbits. Actually, I can rescue a rabbit and get two geese for that. That sounds good, no? I'll get a pig and I will get... Uh, a brown rabbit. There we go. Select an enclosure. There you go. I'm sure you'll love it. And then get animals. And I want to trade in this. This animal does not meet the trading requirements. What do you mean? You said you wanted a, an, a rabbit. Required for trade. What is this? Looks like a fish. <laughs> I thought... What? Trade a pair of them for just one rabbit. But... Um okay. Well, that's good for now. Kissy arriving in one day. I would love Kissy to be here. I'm a, I mean, I don't think I could split that, but I can probably probably split that later. Oh, I have a new task. Finish task. Yes. Give me 1500 what? Ooh. And collection, what's this? Uh -huh. If you want to be um, a completionist, then you can do that. All that stuff. Ooh, okay. Oh, saving game. Yes. I made what? Well, I made a profit of 1,649, and that's definitely not because I got a bonus. <laughs> Current cash is 2.3 grand. Park, park rating attracted 24 people, and 19 out of them entered the zoo. And we have a new task, Seed found. Since I invested in this business, you have various performance targets to hit in order to unlock more capital. Reach 100 total customers and I will release some additional funding. But I think this is enough for a first, 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 first impression video. I will leave it here and I will definitely continue playing this because I'm already in love. It reminds me so much of Zoo Tycoon, which I loved as a kid, but also I love it with the tasks, the pixels, of course and all the shenanigans you can do with it. You'll see that later. So overall, I would say I really like the layout of the game. I like the music. I like the way it reminds me of Zoo Tycoon, which I know it can be a bad thing because then just go ahead and play Zoo Tycoon, <laughs> obviously, but it's a new game and I tried it and I like it and I hope you like it too and I hope you'll enjoy watching more videos of it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!